Check this out. Wow. This is like totally awesome. Pokemon. <gasps> oh, we just scored. Let's see what today's bringing me. Oh, what we have? Probably $5 with a hangers. This box here, a couple of brand new CDs not open. A couple of clothing and little things. This is probably a $10 box. The Vogue, beautiful little picture here. Not sure what it means, but it's kind of cool. Two or three bucks, maybe five. More clothes. These are small item clothes, quarter a piece, 50 cents a piece. What I want is this, fold it, ready to go, ready to sell. Out of my car, into the store, into somebody else's bag. I made a few bucks, I'm moving on. This is probably a $10 drawer right here. Kids bag here. Ah, these are awesome. Clean and good condition. This is a good 25 bucks here. Take these home, put them on the kids, have a little bit of family therapy. More clothes. Ugh. It's got a little weight to it, which is good. Hopefully it's not all clothes and knickknacks. Boxes like this always interest me. These are Cabbage Patch knickknacks. This is a Cabbage Patch pen. These are, oh no, excuse me, Garbage Pail Kids. Back in the day, people were collecting these, buying them like crazy. Got some cards still in the original wrappers. This is what a collector would be looking for. Sealed, in the container, ready to go, ready to sell. More knickknacks. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, it's gotta be, what is it, one, two, three, nine times 30 or 40. That's um, good money. That's kinda neat. Awesome condition. Oh, look at that. So it's cards that make a giant puzzle. I think I see another one back there, I'm not sure. Yes, sir. Wow. Check this out. Brother and sister. Garbage fuck kids, wow. Well, we got one big piece of furniture, a lot of clothes left. There's probably 60 bucks worth in here. My whole day depends on those garbage pub kids. Uh, hopefully those guys pan out. Hey, Ivy, what's happening, man? Laren, how you doing? Hey, nice to meet you. This guy's one of the artists that makes the Garbage Pell Kids. All right, so let's see what you got. Check out these posters. They're sweet, if I say so myself. Great, this is awesome. Really nice. These are all individual cards that were out the packs, and collectors would buy packs upon packs just so that they could make something like this. So what do you think I have here? Well, based on this collection and the cards you have, I'll say that it's worth, to the right collector, about $600. Wow, that don't sound like garbage to me. Pretty awesome. All right, awesome collection. It's a steal. It's packed from top to bottom for 1,000 bucks. How can I not make any money? One DVD, $2, yes. Blasting agent, that's cool. Maybe people won't mess with me anymore. Don't want to mess with a blasting agent. Oh, wait a second. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Actually, some of these can be really worth a lot of money. Now, if I could just find a Nintendo. This is like the perfect time period for Nintendo. Woo! I'm all excited now. Comics, cable. It was number one issue. I don't think he's worth that much at 350. An easy way to tell if comics are worth money, if it's an issue number one, and the cover price is under a quarter. Spider-Man, all two bucks a piece, Batman. Oh, here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Number one, two, Three and four. I know these are really collectible. This is like totally awesome. Turtles comics with my turtles figure. So I'm gonna put these aside to see what they're worth. The rest of these boxes will easily bring me a thousand bucks. I had a lot of fun, there's a lot of interesting items. Today was totally cowabunga, dude. We're going to the San Diego Comic Arts Gallery to meet Kevin Eastman. He is a legend in the comic world and co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm really excited. Wow, this is amazing. So show me what we found. Oh, fantastic. Well, Toys. That's Master Splinter. He's the knowledge. <laughs> so tell me about these. Can I open them up? And yeah, go ahead. Just tell me. Whatever you need to do, go ahead. There's a couple different ways you can tell some of the earliest printings. And one of the main things is, um, and we always marked each printing with a very specific thing here that says third printing, February 1985. So what are we talking about in terms of value? Well, you know, let's start with Splinter. It's the original press shipping of the toys from 1988. Got a little bit of edging here. If I had to put a value on this, I'd say, uh, 
know, 15 bucks. 15 bucks? Yeah. Well, 15 bucks, I'll play with it. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this selection of comic books is they're beautiful, they're in such great shape. If I had to put a price on it, I'd say solidly... Oh, 750 bucks. Cowabunga! <laughs> Actually, it could be worth a little more if they were signed. Would you mind you signing them? I'd love to sign them. Be my pleasure. Put a little turtle on there or something? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we know that we're 750. How about now? Yeah, you're you're now about uh, 850. Great, sign them again. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this locker for 145 bucks. Hopefully, making money from it will be easier than opening the door. Ew. What? Ooh, Pokemon cards. Now these can be pricey. Some of these are in plastic wraps, you know. Maybe they're valuable. I have no idea. But the kids these days sure seem to love them. These chairs, ew, leopard. Classy. <laughs> oh, this is a cool vintage radio. I mean, it looks pretty intact. I'm gonna say at least 20 bucks on this thing. No. Ooh! Yeah, we're freaking talking. Pokemon. So who knows what I have in here because I know nothing about Pokemon cards. So Pokemon, I'm depending on you to at least Make up for the 145 bucks I spent on all this freaking trash. These cards better be worth some moolah because no one wants to work for free. I'm here to see Angel and Ty from Core TCG to see if these Pokemon cards are gonna make me some poke money. All right, we're professionals. Have you ever played Pokemon before? Or no. is this the first time? Are you know anything about Pokemon? It's, it's a, a game. game, yes. Okay, so you do have a lot of common cards here. Mm -hmm. And I also see quite a few seven, eight dollar cards, mainly the holographics and the first editions. This is a good one right here. That's uh, from Team Rocket set, and these are one of the rare cards to find. So super rare. That one's worth about twenty dollars. Awesome. Twenty bucks for one card. Looks like I might be playing with a stacked dick. Okay, so if you guys had to, you know, give me a total value of all of these cards together, how much you think? I'm taking a look at everything. We see a lot of common cards but a lot of them are first edition, which is a good sign. I would say about... Uh, um... Around, like, 600, 600. for everyone. Oh, away. awesome! 600 bucks for some freaking Pokemon cards? Scott! It's not quantity, but hopefully it's quality. We are back at our little shoebox locker. I'm just hoping that our team effort pays off. There you go. Nikes, 20 bucks. Ooh, what's that? Please. Oh, I, these are like uh, coin boxes. <gasps> oh, we just scored some sort of coin. Let me see what it is. Prison Department, North Carolina. Oh, you know what? These are all coins from... Prisons? Looks like it, but these all look old. They all look like 60s and earlier. Well, I guess if you ever get in trouble, you'll be wealthy in prison. Really... You'll be the most popular guy ever to be asking me favors for some coins. <laughs> I don't go to prison. And if I were to go to prison, I run that bitch. I never had prison coins, so I mean, I, I think they're worth 10 bucks a these, but who knows, this we need to go get checked out. Go team bargain hunters. Okay, hey, why don't you team up and put that out there? Something with a P90X, that's and good. You know that's something we can't sell, something we need to utilize. Why do we want that? I don't know, you have a little chubby problem. Well, that is not gonna help, that's just gonna make me tired and eat more. How much do you think we can sell in line for? It's probably 100 bucks, it's right now. We we'll probably have close to half of our money back. We have the prison coins, where I feel really comfortable that it's gonna make, break us even at least. I still like buying more quantity though. Don't be hitting people. That's how you end up in prison. We're taking our prison coins to Chuck at the Sheriff's Museum in San Diego. Chuck. Hi. I'm Renee. We spoke on the phone. Renee. My wife Casey. Casey, Casey nice to meet you. This is great. I love this. That could be a future home with your attitude lately. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we got here. We brought you some pointies. Pointies? Pointies, that's, that's the official tray trunk. They look to be in pretty good shape. I thought I saw some penny ones in there, too. But remember, in 1920, you could probably buy uh, two candy bars for a penny. I'd be a multi-billionaire in 1920 with my money now. But at the end of the day, how much coin do I have on my coins? You have a real nice collection here. Thank you. Uh, a whole collection. I'm going to say... $250 to $300. Wow. We were hoping a little bit higher. Well, of course, we all did. Yeah. 
Maybe Casey and I will have to go back to the drawing board and start agreeing on the right locker to buy. I feel like I just got sentenced to prison. Aww. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!